Hi everyone, uh, my name is Madhubani. I am the social rep for uh, the University of Cranfield University. And today we have uh, Jerome with us here uh, from GoApe, and it's been a great pleasure hearing him talk about this. So, um, actually, Midnight had a question for you. Oh, yeah. Um, I actually thank you again for coming in. Pleasure. Us. Um, my question was of course, it was your brother and his wife that started the business, so effectively, it is a family business. Um, along with the business challenges and stuff, what were the personal challenges you had like, in that family connection? Yeah, well, it, it sometimes isn't easy working as a family. And it can change your relationship where what would normally be family occasions like Christmas and Easter, you can start talking about work in a rather sort of professional way. Um, so you've got to be a bit careful about that. But um, to my, my brother's great credit, uh, he's the real boss, but he doesn't make me feel like he's the real boss. So, um, but equally, I know that if we have a, a disagreement about something, when push comes to shove, he owns more shares than I do. And so <laughs> I know my place. <laughs> but I, and it's great, actually. If you, I think where you can have struggles, more struggles, is if it's 50-50 you know, and you both think that you know, the other guy's the freeloader and you're, doing, you're, you're the hero doing all the hard work, then I think that can lead, uh, lead to real um, friction. But uh, having clear understanding of different roles uh, when you set up in partnership or uh, working as part of a family business, I think you, you save yourself a lot of heartache later. Uh, well, basically, my question was, is because you were changing career from uh, being a uh, barista, right, um, to come to the business uh, and to go to entrepreneurship business, uh, what would be your like tip to people who are considering to, uh, after having a good career, to, to move to the business and start up something? Okay. Um I really enjoyed being a barrister, uh, but I knew that I didn't want to do it for the rest of my life. Because uh, if I got to being a fat, successful, um, smug barrister age 50 or 60, I'd have felt that life had passed me by. But I knew um, that if I hadn't gone for it, when the opportunity arose, I wouldn't have been able to live with myself. It would have always spent the next 10 or 20 years. I may have been able to pay the rent, but uh, I'd have been thinking, what if? So if you feel that your, your heartstrings are tugging you, I think if in doubt, you've got to do it. Okay, um, so yeah. basically it's like to catch the moment? Yes, or where you can yeah, I'm, I'm a firm more. believer. I am a firm believer that in life you have a series of opportunities. You know, windows of opportunity open up. And you may not be able to do advanced thinking as to identify what exactly those opportunities are. But what you can do is advanced thinking as to um, how you recognize opportunities. So I've spent quite a lot of time thinking about the kind of life I wanted to live, what was important to me, how much money I could afford to live off, how, how, how big a pay cut could I afford to live off with a family and, and a wife. And I'd done all that work uh, in the background, so when an opportunity arose, it felt right and I knew that it ticked my boxes because I, I spent time thinking about what those boxes are. So. Um what would you say uh, is entrepreneurship a really um, good career path? Uh, is, it, is it where um, a lot of people's heart these days is going? So what sort of take do you have on just entrepreneurship and such? I think it's fantastic. I think it's a fantastic way of life. Mm -hmm. um, it's not stable in the way that uh, being an accountant in a large organization is stable. Um, but I couldn't think of anything worse <laughs> than that. Um, and it's exciting, and you, you make your own success, and you create your own failure as well. And the great thing about entrepreneurship is you, you get a team together, and you're building something. And not all of it goes the right way, but you can pick yourself up, you learn, you recognize your mistakes, try and fix it, and then away you go again. And it's a, it is a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, we've been incredibly lucky, and uh, luck does inevitably pay, uh, play a little bit of a bit but you make your own luck as well. And it's about taking opportunities and uh, reaching for the stars. And I think it's, uh, you may not get the stars, but you might reach the moon. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of personal and professional growth on this front. Like entrepreneurship seems to be something that's making people uh, really step out of the, not the usual ways of life and actually focus on growth of all kinds actually. Yeah. So, that's actually one of the best things one of the reasons I didn't do entrepreneurship. <laughs> it's actually great. So, um, sorry.
Oh yeah, I had a question sort of moving you along the, uh, your journey, so not the startup phase, but the point where you said the building team is important and at some point, rightly so, um, some people do not move and do not grow with, um, with the company and you probably need to make some difficult decisions. Do you see any tension in that and still promoting your internal brand to the employees of that authenticity and value? You're, I, I absolutely understand what you're getting at. Um, if, you're, you if you're not you careful, manage? yes, uh, you can have uh, feelings of upset, but no one's owed a job. We mm. all have to be brilliant at our jobs because you have an opportunity to work with going, myself mm. included. You don't have a right. And... Uh, most people know inside themselves that they're not up to it if they've got mm -hmm. to a stage where they're no longer comfortable in, in where they are in their career. And uh, for people, it may be painful, but it can also be a relief. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that uh, if you've got people who are just not in the right job any longer, their teams will know that. And whilst they have, there's a huge amount of uh, personal sympathy, people want to have great people in the right roles. Mm. So I think if it's handled sympathetically, you take the right decision, and you start with, what we always say is, we've got to, the first thing you've got to do is take the right decision for the business, and then how you do it, you, you look after your teams. So mm. you look after your people, but you take the right decision for the business. Right. The other way is disaster, because you're not looking after anyone then, yes. and you end up with no business mm. and no jobs. All right, excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is really Pleasure. great speaking with you and thank you so much for coming to the talk. Pleasure. Thank great. You. Really nice to meet you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.